Hey everybody and welcome back to Northwest Craftsman. Today we're going to be going through the new router that I just got. I got the Bosch 1617 which comes with both the uh, freehand base and the uh, router or the fixed base which will end up going into my router table. But I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy open and walk you guys through the router and we're going to go ahead and just take a look at it. All right, here we go. Right off the bat, it sure looks like this guy got dropped on its head, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop it open and see how well their uh, packaging works, but uh, this is it. Bosch 1617 uh, EVSPK. I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description. Um, the reason that I got this one is because this is the fixed base, which normally if you're just using your hands, you can only go one depth of it, one depth at a time, but this guy is excellent for mounting, uh, mounting into router tables because it's got the fixed plate that you can work in. While this guy right here, well, I, why don't I just take him out and I can show you. Well, would you look at that? I have a feeling this guy is doing just fine even though they dropped the box because it's got its own carrying case inside. Well, that's handy, I didn't even know it was gonna come with that. Wow, look at that. It's basically all ready to go. Alrighty, so these are the two pieces that I was talking about. So it comes with one motor that comes right in this guy and he can, I believe, it's just a twist unlock. Ah, that's what it is. You take this guy. Alrighty, so these are the two pieces that I was talking about. So there's actually three components that come in here with a bunch of miscellaneous things. But you've got the motor, you've got the fixed base or the fixed height base um, with the chuck, and then you've got the uh, dynamic base that you can actually do a, di a different depth depending on what you want. These guys are really handy if you're trying to do a lot of uh, router work as you're just trying to work at different depths and do different things. This one is really handy when you're trying to mount it to a uh, router table, which I have right here at the other end of the workbench. But what you'll end up doing is you'll take this base off and then mount this plate straight into your table. And then this guy has a quick disconnect on it so that you can just take the motor out of it. Um, but you can rotate them through. This guy comes in here. Or you can use the same quick disconnect on this one right here. So you've got the quick disconnect over here, slide your motor in, and then you're good to go. All right, so to start off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to take the uh, motor out of one of these uh, bases so that we can get it rolling over. You have this guy, pull it up. So this is the one that creates the lock. This is the uh, lever that creates the lock on the entire base. And so this is what holds it really secure. Um, and then this base just twists and pulls out. But one of the things that I learned so this is your quick adjust lever. So if you wanna go through uh, large chunks like pull this guy way up and out, you wanna use this and then it'll snap into place. You can do fine tune adjustments right here, but if you wanna go ahead and take it out, push this guy in right here. You're gonna come up until it stops and then you're gonna rotate counterclockwise and then it'll eventually slide out. And you can see now that this is out, the mechanism right here. So as it comes through, this is where you have to rotate, it comes up and then these are your different quick stops for the uh, quick adjust. But this is the general motor right here. And then this is the one that I'll end up mounting into the router table. So I wanted to quickly go over why exactly I got this particular router set instead of any of the number of other ones, including from Bosch on the market. The reason I get this one is Bosch has a really good name inside of the tool manufacturing uh, industry and is specifically around their router. These are just like the gold standard when it comes to routers. And I know that everybody has an opinion, but from just about everything I was seeing online, Bosch has a very good name with their router set. So the reason I got this one is because it came with the uh, removable motor here so that you could put it both into the fixed base or into the quick adjust base because this guy is going to mount into my table down here at the other end. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that all right. There, so it'll mount into the base down over here. Um, but then what I can do is I can remove the motor by using uh, this quick release right here and put it into uh, the mobile quick depth uh, router base because it'll allow me to go through and do other work really quickly. So I can leave this guy mounted full time inside of my router table and then use this guy up on the side. 
Now, the other reason that I got this is because in this particular model, it comes with a uh, key, a hex key right here, so that when it is sitting down in the router table, you can see how this piece right up here comes all the way through, the, through to the surface. I can make quick adjustments to the depth on uh, my router from the top of my table. There are a lot of other routers that do not allow you to do this, and so you actually have to take it out uh, from the bottom, readjust your depth, bring it back up, and, in, and it's really just kind of a pain in the rear. These uh, top adjust routers are just super, super handy. The other reason that I got this, and this is more common in uh, modern day routers, but is inside of the motor, it's got circuitry that allows it to apply constant load and so, or not constant load, but constant speed so that if you're really loading it down, it can put more power to the uh, motor itself and keep everything nice and even, but it also has a, a slow startup as well. So there's a whole bunch of really cool modern circuitry in here, basically everything that you'd be looking for in a modern router, Bosch did inside of this guy right here. But yeah, that's basically it. It really just comes into these three different components right here and uh, all the different mounting hardware that you need and the uh, crescent wrenches you need to adjust the collet uh, right on here so that you can mount, uh, mount your bits in here. Um, came with a really nice carrying case, but I'm really excited to start getting working with this thing. But this is what it all looks like taken apart and we'll start working with it. Well guys, that's it. Pretty short, pretty easy, but I'm super excited to get using this router. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below or why I decided to purchase this router. Um, I'm also gonna be putting together my router table pretty soon, so taste, stay tuned for that and uh, you can see everything get integrated together. And then in a while, I'll go ahead and put together a video on how to use a router effectively with your changing bits and uh, adjusting depth and everything that you're gonna need to know about using a router. I'll go ahead and put one of those up at some point in the future. But thank you guys for joining. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great one. Talk to you later. Bye.